my, what happened to your arm? I fell down and hurt it. The doctor said that my bone is fractured. Could you show us where? Right here. Now, a really wonderful thing about bones is this. If you break one or get a fracture like me, your body immediately starts to heal it. That's why I'm wearing a cast. The doctor put it here so that my bone can heal properly. It's your X-ray. Let's take a look at it. X-ray light cannot pass through dense materials. So the bone appears as a white structure in the image. This makes it easy to see the bone. And very soon, my bone will be completely healed because new bone cells are already growing to replace the old damaged cells. That's right. And this is because bones are living things. They contain bone marrow, which is a very important cell factory. Bone marrow produces more bone cells, more blood cells, more brain cells, and even more heart cells. Bones are very important. They protect the very delicate organs in our bodies, like our brains, our lungs, and our hearts. You know, just before you joined us, we were learning about how bones enable us to sit, stand, walk, run, and even jump. And the secret is in the joints. If we didn't have joints, our bodies would be completely stiff. Joints are where bones meet and allow our bodies to move, like this. The largest joint in your body is in your knee. It connects three bones together, your kneecap, your leg bone, and your thigh bone. I can think of a great song to help us learn about how bones are connected to each other. Them bones, them bones, them dancing bones, them bones, them bones, them dancing bones, them bones, them bones, them dancing bones, doing the skeleton dance. The foot bones connected to the leg bone, the leg bone connected to the knee bone, the knee bone connected to the thigh bone, doing the skeleton dance. The thigh bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone connected to the back bone. The back bone connected to the neck bone. Doing the skeleton dance. Shake your hands to the left. Shake your hands to the right. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands out of sight. Shake your hands to the left. Shake your hands to the right. Put your hands in the air. Wiggle, 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 your knee. The knee is a very good example for us to explain how the joints work. These bones are covered by something called cartilage. Cartilage prevents bones from rubbing against each other. If cartilage wasn't there, it would be very painful to walk. And then ligaments connect the bones to each other at the joints. Finally, the muscles that enable our bones to move are connected to the bones by tendons. Are all bones held together by joints? Let's take a look at Mr. Bones. Which part of his frame does not need to bend or move? Oh my, it's the skull, of course. Its job is to protect the brain and keep it in place. We don't want our brains moving around in our heads, do we? Our bones do so much for our bodies. This is why it is important to take good care of them. You can help your bones stay strong and healthy by eating the right foods and doing lots of exercise. Because I have been eating healthy foods, my fracture is completely healed and now I'm as good as new.